Welcome to the news hour. More Americans are leaving Gaza as evacuations pick up speed following complicated negotiations. Aid deliveries to the more than two million civilians in Gaza are still trickling in, but the need is far greater. And as Leila Molana Allen reports, Israel is continuing its airstrikes and ground campaign in northern Gaza. Israel intensified its ground operation today. Releasing this video, it says, shows troops operating deep inside northern Gaza. Israel Defense Forces Chief of Staff Herzi Halevi confirmed soldiers are now engaged in urban warfare. IDF fighters have been operating in Gaza City for the past few days, encircling it from several directions, deepening the entrance of the IDF into Gaza and deepening our achievements. As Israel advances, President, if oh you my care God. about Jewish people as a rabbi, I need you to call for a ceasefire right now. President Biden appeared last night to call for a, quote, pause in the fighting to facilitate aid deliveries after he was interrupted at an event. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby clarified today. What we're talking about are temporary, localized pauses in the fighting to meet a certain goal or goals. As I said, get A in, get people out. And before leaving again for the Middle East, Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke to the enormous civilian death toll in Gaza. When I see a Palestinian child, a boy, a girl, pulled from the rubble of a collapsed building, that hits me in the gut as much as seeing a child in Israel or anywhere else. Uh, so this is something that we have an obligation uh, to respond to, and we will. Gazans, desperate to escape that fighting, crowded the Rafa border crossing again today. More foreign nationals were allowed to leave. Suzanne finally got out. This was her fifth attempt. But she left with mixed feelings. Right now, I'm between ice and fire. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see the family that I left behind or the friends that I left behind. People are dying. As people went out, aid trucks came in. Also running low, fuel. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says the main generator in Gaza's Indonesian hospital failed today. Israel claims Hamas is diverting fuel from the hospital. Today, Israeli authorities released what they say is an intercepted phone call where the hospital's manager talks about giving fuel to Hamas. The news hour could not verify the authenticity of the recording. Israel Defense Forces Chief of Staff Herzi Halevi expressed willingness to supply fuel to Gaza under strict supervision. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said later that was not yet a commitment. And as Gaza continues to be pounded by airstrikes, the army signaled today that it's ready to step up its attacks against Hamas, saying that Israel's air force is currently only using half of its aerial capability. The IDF's bombardment already seems unrelenting on the ground. Aerial footage showed massive destruction at the al Borej refugee camp after a strike on residential buildings today. Meanwhile, residents in the Marazi refugee camp dug through this pile of debris that was once a home. Abdal was with them. This house was bombed, including residents, civilians, children and the elderly, without any warning. The fate of those civilians, unknown. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Leila Malana Allen.